Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. Good morning. I'm heading to Pickett today to pick up my check. Everybody's still asleep. Hopefully I can get back before anybody wakes up. Um, I haven't been outside all weekend and I haven't started my car all weekend so hopefully it starts yesterday was the coldest valentine's day since 1920 something uh oh turn the battery on for a few seconds i didn't see any lights there we go <laughs> Come on, Shade. You got it, girl. Well, she ain't happy, but she started. <laughs> Look at this. Hopefully that stops. Should have come out and uh, I'm gonna unplug a little of the electronics here because the battery is uh, struggling. I'll be honest, I've only ever seen that happen one time before. She lived through that, so she'll live through this. Huh, she ain't dead, so that's good. Um, any illusion of warmth today? It's not, it's not happening. It's not gonna be warm. Although by the end of the week, it's gonna be 30 degrees, so. Uh, it's President's Day, but I'm going to take my shipment to the post office anyway. Every bump I hit is going to feel like slamming down on the road just because um, my tires are frozen. The rubber is, is not cushy right now. The shocks probably aren't having a good day either. <laughs> I swear. I love when it's cold like this because seriously, every car feels like it's the worst thing ever. I should have plugged her in this weekend and I didn't. It's my fault. It's my fault. But um, I didn't have a choice. I want to go get my check today. I want to see what's sold. And when I get home, I got my first wholesale order. So I placed a large wholesale order of Easter stuff and vintage looking things to fill in. Because let's face it, it was brutal. It's been brutal junk and it's not not a good sound um it has not been great as far as getting stuff so we'll do an unboxing when i get home see what i got i don't even know what the first item to ship was but i heard i thought i heard a truck this morning and i did and it turned out it was a fedex truck with my wholesale order so we'll open that when i get home and we'll go from there but let me get to pick it Yesterday in Ely, Minnesota, which is way up north, the uh, actual air temperature was minus 40 degrees. That wasn't the wind chill. That was the actual temperature outside. So it's a little cold. Just wear layers. It'll be fine. Need to pick it. I'm going to leave the car running when I go in. I lock it up, so it'll be fine, but I'm going to go in and grab my chuck. Oh, it doesn't look like a lot of tags. Did we make rent? Wow. We did. And then some. I can't believe it. For that little bit of tags? Well, y'all. <laughs> I did raise my prices on some stuff. a scale I've been using an old kitchen scale and sometimes the boxes are too big for me to actually see the numbers and I've been wanting a scale with a, a digital display that sits separate from the box so that I can read it <laughs> and I wanted to get it last month but as you know I was seven dollars short of making rent so I didn't get it now this month I'm getting it anyone want to go junk in We're gonna pass a thrift store, might as well go junkin'. 
All right, it's Anything Can Happen Monday at the thrift store. Monday Madness, and uh, it was Buy More, Save More. I spent $41, which gave me a $15 discount. Uh, if I had known that, I'd have bought more, but I wasn't going back in after that. I got some cute stuff. So they had Easter stuff out. And then I got, uh, they had vintage Easter bonnets. Oh, they're so sweet, little girl Easter bonnets. I just had to have them. They are so sweet. And um, what else I got? Oh, a piece I had to take home and rescue. You guys, I was so angry. Yeah, we'll do a haul video when I get home. And you can see why. I am so angry. You will understand. If you guys are junkers and vintage people, you will understand the anger I'm feeling towards whoever did this. Um, it was a botched DIY. And it's just not, not pretty. Don't worry, baby. Mommy rescue you. Mommy rescue you. <laughs> Somebody will love you again. I promise you that. <laughs> I'm going to fix it, but I'm going to head to the post office because I forgot to go to the post office. I got to go to my post office now. It's a colossal joke. I don't know what to start with. Let's start with the wholesale box I got. So this is my wholesale box. It's very light. I think these are Easter eggs. Um, well, I think they're Robin's eggs. This thing has come in handy more times than I care to admit. I picked this up thinking I'd sell it. I just stabbed myself in the boob. <laughs> I'm a mom who tells you not to cut towards yourself too. And I just stabbed myself in the boob. Twenty-four bags. Of little blue robin's eggs with feathers on them. So I don't have to go looking for eggs. Very, very cute, right? They were like dollar thirty-five a bag, and you had to buy twenty-four. So I bought twenty-four. Um, I can at least get three, four bucks for those. It's nice. Um, they're nice to have for Easter. Considering I did not have enough eggs. I mean, I did the eggs that you saw me do, and I have some left from last year. But other than that, I was out, and. I didn't find any when I was out junking because it was just a bad junking year with COVID. I couldn't go to garage sales. I couldn't hit half the places that I really, really wanted to and have in the past. Or I know I've got little honey holes, which I'm not sharing with a lot of people. <laughs> Do the thrift haul. Yeah. Okay. Got this whole box for $27. I can't even believe it. So it was 41 something and then I got $15 off and I told him to round up to the, it came down to 26 something and I told him to round up to the 27 because $15 off so shade the car we were just in does not have a bluetooth receiver so I still need to use a cassette adapter and I picked this one up because eventually the one I have will die I've gone through about six since I've had the car so uh, it's brand new. Um, I do need the adapter for iPhone, but that's okay. I got that. It'll be nice to have uh, and in reserve for the day that the other one dies. Because believe me, I can't have my my audio. I'm not happy when I'm junking. Got my audio books going and it's like, darn it. I can't listen. Uh, Post-it flags. I use these constantly. So since there were only a buck, I picked them up. Brand new package of post-it flags. I mark my video journal. I mark my notebooks. I don't have any of them in here. They just had them on the dining room table. Um, I, and then I write my labels on them constantly in need of those. This was cute. 50 cents. Brand new. Easter um, hair ties. Oh, they're little, little hair bows. I just thought they were cute. They're just adorable. 
probably going to put them in the booth unless I think that I want to put pigtails in Victoria's hair. She's not going to let me do pigtails. Even when she was little, she didn't want me doing pigtails. Um, I picked up another one of these guys, so I bought that electric one the other day, and now this one is non-electric. And my husband had requested these because when he rubs my back when I get headaches, his hands get tired and he didn't like the vibrating ones, so... He was okay with it for a short period of time, but then it made his hand numb. So I got the non-vibrating one for a dollar. And here's the little vintage Easter hats. You guys, these are so charming. Okay, hang on, there's more in there. Put that back there right now. This was from Cinderella, New York. It's just charming, right? It's just a little charming hat, Cinderella, New York. The little girl's hat does have a small stain on the top. I love it. I love these old vintage hats. Clearly, it's not meant for me. Um, and then there was this one. Look at it. Look at the bonnet, you guys. Is that not charming? It's charming. And this one was just slightly dented. She charged me a dollar a piece. They weren't marked. A dollar a piece for these vintage hats. They're just, they're so sweet. This one doesn't have a manufacturer in it. This one was Cinderella, New York. Oh, charming. That's the only word I can come up with. So these will either be part of my Easter booth or I don't know, I might look up on Etsy and see what they are. I'm going to see if I can get that rust stain off the top. I have that rust remover. I don't know. I don't know how delicate this is. Oh, so charming. I'm in love with this. I'm in love. I was like, oh, oh, oh. Oh, y'all, it was not even pretty. It was not pretty. I was excited. I got this for me. I love these um, spatulas. And this one said Happy Easter. And it has um, a little chart on the back that shows cups to ounces to tablespoons to millimeters. I don't, I don't know why you'd need that in the day of, in this day and age. But I just thought... They're nice to have, and I have one that the handle just split. So I was thinking I needed to get one of these. And you know what else I need are silicone tongs. I absolutely need silicone tongs, and I know they have them at Goodwill. So if she has archery this week, I will be going to Goodwill and snagging some tongs. Tongs. This is getting a paint job. These sell really well. People like to have their little bills and stuff in them, and I loved the little... Um, detail here the little floral detail i don't like the black uh, probably gonna do it with some aging dust i've got some aging dust coming and some you know just some fun stuff on this one i mean i like the detail the detail is gonna make it really fun to redo so this will get a layered paint look and uh yeah it'll be cute looks like they got it at marshall's for 5.99 and i paid three dollars for it charge more than that. It's going to go for more than $5.99. This is for the shop. Um, it's a little mini crock pot. Myriad of uses for crock pots in the shop. If you do, if you have um, old hardware with paint on it, you can put it in the crock pot, warm it up, and then drop it in some cold water and the paint will just pop right off without scrubbing or using chemicals. And then I am also going to do the wax melts. So I have the wax to do for the old vintage tins. Remember I said I was going to do with that client. She just she's Her business didn't survive COVID. And um, I'm going to take the wax that I got and put it in a tin can in here to, to melt it and then make my own. But I needed one. I didn't want to wreck my crock pot. So this is $5 Hamilton Beach little crock pot no temperature settings it's just a for like dips or or whatever Another Easter thing um, it was difficult finding Easter stuff at this particular thrift store that was not cracked or chipped so you know I run my fingers around every dish uh, this one was not cracked or chipped aren't they cute <laughs> um, Sometimes it's really hard to part with, with stuff. I don't do like an Easter 
display in my house, but this just kind of got to me. It's very cute. Very, very cute. This is the one I'm rescuing. You know? So you can see, somebody did a DIY paint job on that. So this is a vintage green glass piece that somebody decided to paint and gold that well. And then it'll start flaking off, I'm sure, when they tried to wash it. I'm going to remove all the paint and get it back to its beautiful, pristine look. And I know people were doing this with pressed glass. This piece should not have had this treatment. No. <laughs> just, just no. A little charming bunny tray, little bunny bowl. So Hallmark. It was $17 at Hallmark. I paid $4 for it. Again, it was another piece that wasn't shipped, which was really difficult to find today. Like every piece I picked up was either cracked or chipped. And this one was not. His little bunny nose was even still intact. Look how cute he is. Oh, so cute. Mid-century green glass. Picked this up at the same time I picked up the one that needs the DIY help. I just thought the green was going to be great in the booth for um, spring. To be honest, I feel in spring right now. I need spring. I need spring colors. I just wanted to have some bright, pretty greens. You know, if I had a bunch of greenery, I'd stick that in there too, but I don't. I got one of these numbers. So these would hold like a ginger jar. Like um, the big, large Asian plant holders. I picked it up because I have some pots coming from the wholesalers and I thought this would be nice to set one on to give it some height, to put some height on the displays. So that's why I picked it up as $3. It's heavy, seriously heavy y'all. This is a solid piece of wood. Another piece of green glass, this was $5.50. It was not chipped or cracked. It has the uh, deviled egg holder and then a relish tray. I just thought it was cute. And again, the green, I was feeling the green. So I will have the booth sprinkled with green and, and colors. In my mind, I'm already designing my booth. Like I sat down with a piece of paper and was mapping out the footprint. Um, I have that booth planning toolkit, don't I? There's, it's somewhere. Oh. I think that's in my furniture flipping toolkit. Could be. Anyway, I actually do that. I actually map out what I'm gonna use um, on a good month. Like there are some months when you when you know you go, you hear me say, I don't have anything. I don't have anything to put in here. I've thought about it and I don't have anything to put in here. I don't use a map on those days. I just kind of wing it. But this month, I'm kind of mapping things out. So I've got this little number. Did not turn out. The drawers did not turn out. So I cried and then my husband jumped in with, I'm going to rescue my wife. <laughs> he's, so, he's so sweet. He has um, a metallic green vinyl that actually is near identical to that wrapping paper. It was maybe one shade darker than what I had. Or mine was darker than me. Anyway, um, so he took it out to the shop, the drawers out to the shop last night to belt sand them and put vinyl on them. It'll have the same look except without the bubbles. And he does a really nice job. So he jumped in to rescue me last night. I was going to redo the whole piece. Not going to lie. I was ready to just chuck it all. I, I was so frustrated with the paper. In its defense, it is not decoupage paper. However, I just did not expect the problems that I had with it. Lucky for me, the paper did remove itself really easy. It did not want to stick. So we'll see how that turns out. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and of course, more Junkin videos.